welcome to Santi Peace for my comedies. In this video, we are discussing the Fourier series of the function f of x is equal to x into sin x. This is a periodic function in the interval minus 5 to 5. And lastly, we have to detect what is the value of 1 pi upon 4, which is in the form of the series. Here is your function f of x is equal to x into sin x. You first know that this function is even function or odd function. So instead of x minus x I am replacing. So sin of minus x we know it is minus sin x so that's why it is x into sin x and hence it is f of x. So we can say that f is an even function. Now we know that the Fourier series of the function f of x we can write as a0 by 2 plus summation and running from 1 to infinity an cos nx plus bn sin nx where this bn that we know it is defined as 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x into sin nx dx and just now we have read that this f of x is an even function, this is an odd function. And the limit is from minus 5 to 5, so that's why this answer will become 0. Now let us calculate what is the value of a0. According to the definition, it is 1 upon pi minus 5 to pi x into sin x dx, which is your f of x. Here we have to apply the integration by part, so we can write down this is x cos x minus sin minus minus become plus the derivative of x is 1 the derivative of cos x is sin x and the limit is from minus pi to pi you want to just take it it is 2 here and this is 0 because this function is an even function so that's why it is minus 5 to 5 is convert 2 times 0 to 5. So to reduce the calculation, we just write down this is 0 to 5. And so this is 1 upon pi. If I substitute pi here, this is minus pi into cos pi will be minus 1 again. If I substitute sine instead of x here, it will become 0. 0 into anything will become 0. So finally, we will have this. And you just note that this pi is cancelled out. Finally, the answer will be 1 and I just forgot this 2 here, so that's why here it is 2 there, here it is also 2, so the finally answer is 2. So the 2 is the answer for A0. Now let us calculate what is An. Calculate An, we have the definition that is 1 upon pi minus pi, pi x into sin x into cos and x dx. Now let us how to integrate this quantities. The first thing you just know that this function x into sin x into cos x cos and x is an even function because this is even function and this is also even function. So all together it is even function. So it is 2 by pi 0 to pi x into sin x cos and x dx. Now I am using the formula of 2 cos alpha into sin beta. Using this formula we can say that it is the sin alpha plus beta minus sin alpha minus beta. Due to this formula we can write down this is 2 is already there. So it is 2 into cos and x into sin and x. We can write down this is 0 to pi x. We can write as sin n plus 1 x minus sin n minus 1 x dx. Now you use the integration by part if you consider this is as u and this being as b. So if I use the integration by parts x as it is, the integration of this quantity will become cos n plus 1 x minus minus become plus n minus 1 x this is divided by n plus 1 here it is divided by n minus 1 and this will become minus sign 
and then it is minus derivative of x will be compound integration of this quantities which we have it is minus sin n plus 1 pi upon n plus 1 plus sin n minus 1 x upon n minus 1 and the limit is from 0 to pi substitute pi here what is the quantity left let us write down we left with 1 upon pi pi e to cos n plus 1 pi upon n plus 1 cos n minus 1 pi upon n minus 1 so that is the that is the quantity we left so we we'll have minus pi cos n plus 1 pi upon n plus 1 plus pi cos n minus 1 pi upon n minus 1 what is the other quantity left if I substitute pi here if I substitute pi here then this will become 0 if I substitute pi here this will also become 0 because we know that sin n pi is 0 so any n belongs to that if I substitute 0, 0 into anything will become 0 and sin 0 is already 0 so that that quantity is also 0 so only the things left is only this much I will just take common out pi and that pi is cancel out with this and this is we can write down minus 1 is to n plus 1 and the minus 1 is already there upon n plus 1 plus this will we can write down it is minus 1 raised to n minus 1 upon n plus 1 so n minus 1 also note here this quantity I have divided by n and n starts with the 1 so this we can write down if n is not equal to 1 so the n will be starting with the n running from 2, 3 up to so on now this minus sign I am adjusting n so we can write down this is minus 1 raised to n upon n plus 1 and this minus 1 raised to n upon n minus 1 so finally we have it is minus 1 raised to n into n plus 1 minus 1 upon n minus 1 that's why it is minus 2 into minus 1 raised to n upon n square minus 1 if n is not equal to 1 so what will happen if n equal to 1 that means what is the value of e1 we have that we need to calculate here separately so e1 is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi x into cos x dx again this is 2 upon pi 0 to pi x into sin nx cos x dx and this 2 we can take inside so that will be 1 upon pi x into sin 2x dx now using the integration of part 1 upon pi x will be cos 2x upon 2 minus then it is minus derivative of x is 1 integration of cos nx is sin nx upon 4 and that minus minus will come plus here so finally the limit will be 0 to pi if I substitute here the limit this is 1 upon pi minus pi by 2 cos 2 pi that we can have it is 1 sin 2 pi is 0 if I substitute 0 here this quantity will become 0 0 is also there and you just note that this pi so the final answer is k1 is minus 1 by 2 so finally we have the Fourier series which is f of x is equal to as per the formula it is a 0 by 2 plus summation and running from 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x we have concluded this the b n is 0 so that is the Fourier series of x into sin x that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment, suggestion or question, please drop down in a comment box below. See you next video. Till then, bye bye, sign up.